We're eight league games into the season and I can feel the vultures flying. This is A Season with Spurs episode five. Let's crack on. Hello everybody, welcome back to A Season with Spurs. This is episode five. My name is Pokes and welcome to the channel, particularly if you're new. If you are new, then how are you? I hope you are well and I hope you, you uh, enjoy this video. If you do, I would love for you to do me a favour and hit that like button below. It just helps this video get to more people. And if you want to follow along with this save as well as the plenty of other saves that I'll be doing on FM22, then do hit the subscribe button and follow along. Now, as in real life... Conte has just been appointed as the new Spurs manager after Nuno has been sacked this week. And so what a time to be alive. What a time to be doing a Tottenham save. And so I'm asking myself this question. Do I feel like Nuno or do I feel like Conte? I'm going to be honest right now, I probably feel a little bit closer to Nuno. As, as you can see, I'm in 13th place after eight games in the league. We have won three, drawn two and lost three. If we actually look at what the club are saying right now and the board are thinking, I want to see, so I'm, I'm not doing too bad yet. I think they're probably going to give me a few more games until I get any kind of ultimatum unless my fortunes change but as you can see there I'm out of the Carabao Cup um, got knocked out by um, by Norwich let me just show you these results knocked out by Norwich um, unfortunately with a 2-1 loss I did play like I'm on my backups team but still I did expect to beat them even with my backup side I thought I would do better than that I, we did play better than them we had um, more chances really a higher XG overall but as you can see here um, we were playing a, a weakened side i did i did start dane, <laughs> i did start dane scarlet up front sure may, possibly a bad choice i know 17 years old i know i know but you've got to give these people a chance at some point but anyway the it didn't pay off on me he didn't play well as you can see the rest of my team didn't really play well either with a lot of sixes a lot of kind of like high sixes and low sixes there and we lost 2-1 with a 75th minute goal from Zimmerman and um, despite Bergwijn's goal on the 33rd minute to equalize after their opener on the 8th minute so we are out of the Carabao Cup and the, the board didn't want us to do much with it it wasn't important to them but they are still saying it's a failed objective I suppose they probably want us to do a bit better than we did so our attention now turns to the league today as we play the north london derby against arsenal come on Arsenal are currently flying high in fifth place after nine games. They've got 17 points in total. So they're doing all right. They, they must be pretty pleased with themselves. And let me show you, I'm doing a little bit of a shift in tactic for this one as well. I'm sort of reports of being like, he's not willing to change and all this kind of thing. So we're changing this up a little bit where we're bringing in Emerson Royal and Reguillon to be attacking wing backs now on the right. And that's where we're going to see sort of, that's where the width is going to come from. But other than that, we're going to play a little bit more narrow and a little bit more firepower up front but also with a dm so we're going with um, a four at the back with as i said the two wing backs on attack we've got hoiberg um, as, as dm there on defend you've got ndombele as our uh, playmaker um, alongside harry winks being that kind of the box to box guy you've then got harry kane playing as a shadow striker which actually is rating suggest he'd be all right at that and actually if those of you who play a lot of fm and have seen lots of people playing fm and seeing harry kane often he ends up dropping into this kind of like midfielder role now in in football manager um whether he's going to do that in real life who knows but but so we're trying to sort of just drop him a little bit deeper and see what happens there as a shadow striker and then we've got Sonny and Mora up front as a pairing whether this is going to work I'm I'm not convinced but I just felt we needed to change it up from sort of the three with the two inside forwards and one up front so here we go against Arsenal today I'm not feeling a hundred percent too confident about this but come on a win here would be really, really beneficial. Really beneficial. So I want to make the most of this and get a victory or, or at least a draw. So come on, boys. Here we go. So we have Arsenal on a bit of an attack here. Aubameyang as brings it into the box. Will he, what will he do with it? He plays it back to Tierney. Um, Shaka. Uh, Thomas with a massive shot. Oh, man. That was from a long way out. And they've taken the lead after nine minutes. Oh, boy. Yeah, we played it back from Aubameyang. I just had a feeling about this. Just had a feeling. I didn't expect a goal from there, but phew, was, uh, right along the ground. To be fair, Hugo should have done better than that. 
he should have done better than that. Like he's, he is a better keeper than that by by a long way. So that is just it's just a little bit embarrassing. And here they are come again. Is Erdegaard who we've got to look out for in this game. Here's Harry Winks here and Hugo with a big kick up up top and Emerson Rolls high up the pitch, which is good to see. But he lost it there in trying to get it through to to Mora um, and Arsenal. Playing around with it at the back a little bit here, but they've got possession. And nobody, none of our boys were chasing that then. Saka on the attack here, close him down, close him down. And uh, they're going to get a cross in here. Please don't, please don't. Oh no, this, please no, not two. It's two, it's two. Aubameyang's made it two. And 14 minutes into the game and we are 2 nil down. VR's checking it, but I think it's going to be given. Yeah, it'll be given. I couldn't see a reason why that wouldn't have been given. Okay, a bit of a highlight from us now. Here's Ndombele, Kane. What's he going to do with it? Hoiberg has a shot. Oh, what a beauty. Absolute beauty from Hoiberg there. Oh, come on. Come on. Back in this game now. That was a great shot. What, what a placed finish. Absolute beauty. Kane back to Hoiberg. And look at this. Look at this. Dinks it. Curls it round. Absolute beauty. That is worth at least two goals, in my opinion. So... In my head, it's two all. Okay, here's Tierney here. And what is Tierney going to do with it here? He gets the cross in. Oh, for goodness sake. Why didn't they get onto that? That, wasn't, that was not a hard cross to defend. It was a far post cross. There were, we had defenders there. Look, watch this. We had defenders there. Tierney with the cross. Look, it was, he was marking. How did you miss that? Oh... Right, we are 3-1 down and it's 35 minutes gone now. This is... I, I generally thought we were back in this game. I really did. It looks like we're going to head into half time with this, although there is now another highlight coming. This one could be for us, though. And Dombele, no, they've lost it. Oh, no, we've won it back. Kane's won it. No, they lost it again. Oh, Erdegaard with a cross headed out. Regui on the... That, at least we've defended one crosser, effectively. But here they come again with another cross here. Deep, deep, deep cross there. Managed to get it cleared. And we live to fight another day. And we are into half time, and it is 3-1 right now. Arsenal deserve to be ahead. Some poor defending, poor defending, poor goalkeeping from us here. We've got to do something different in the second half. OK, I'm not quite ready to change tactic just yet, but I have just thrashed my arms around and basically said to him, I know we're up against it, but come on, this is a rivalry, yet you don't look like you even care. Get it together. Get Just, just sort your life out. And so here we go. Second half. Let's see if we can get a bit more than two shots on target this half, shall we? The fact is we've actually got 50% of our... Shots on target as a goal. So that's not bad if you think about it in that way. Just tr just trying to bring an air of positivity about this, all right? Just, you've got to think of the silver lining. And the half is going by very quickly already. We are coming, uh, approaching 60 minutes already. So I think it's time to make some changes. Okay, so we've shifted up the tactics now. We're 60 minutes in. We still are not actually making a sub as of yet, although I think Harry Winks may well come off very shortly. But what we are doing was going back to having Kane up front. We're going with the inside forwards that we've had previously on attack, and we've now got Ndombele as that sort of attacking midfielder um, on support. You know what? In fact, I think we're going to we're going to change Harry right now. Um, oh, Le Celso. Is, oh, is Le Celso or... Okay, we're going to go. Lo Celso as the AM and we're going to bring in Dombele back to be um I think he can be I think he can be a deep deep line playmaker and then we'll make Lo Celso really more just a sort of an attacking midfielder we'll do that we'll go with that so we've, we're taking Harry Harry Winks off um Romero is playing badly as well all right I'm taking him off as well and Tang Tanganga is coming on instead of him and they're just gonna we're just gonna swap him around with Mancini we'll play them both as ball playing defenders I think Yep, that makes sense to me. Let's crack on. Okay, it's Reguillon, Lo Celso, Son. Emerson Rolls on the on the side of the pitch, as is Smith Rowe at the minute. So we're both down to 10. Oh, and Lucas Moura. He's 
score one back on the 70th minute. Oh my word, this is mate, this means everything. It's a VR and we've got the goal. My goodness me. It was a cross from Sun, was it? I, I know it was a little dink and it was Hoiberg who got hold of it. Then it was done, Don Bele punched it in and Lucas Mora on his right did a funny little turn into that, but he got the goal. That's the important thing. And we're back to 3 2 now, 20 minutes to go. Can we hold on to this? Oh, come on. Not hold on. Can we, you know what I mean? Hold on to the momentum is what I mean. Uh, let's, let's come on, guys. Come on, boys. Crack on now. Crack on. La Celso with a big, big free kick straight to their keeper. And we've also got Regui on there and Emerson Roll both looking exhausted. R Royal is on a um, 6.2 as well and on a yellow. So I'm going to make the decision to keep Regui on on who's playing just mildly better, not very well, but mildly better. Um, and we've brought uh, Emerson Raw, who's he's still on the pitch at the moment, but he's about to come off um, for Doherty, who's going to come on and play, which isn't ideal, but better than nothing. And I don't want to get a red card here. And with Raw being on a, I think he's on a 6.1. Is it 6.1 he's on? Can't remember, can't remember. 6.1 or a 6.2, which is poor. Meanwhile, Kane has found us all with some space! We can Harry Kane! Harry Kane has scored in the Premier League! It's 3-0 in the North London derby with 15 minutes to go! Oh my goodness me! Oh my word, this means everything right now, boys! What a change! What a change! And it's happening! It's happening! Guys! Guys! If you're enjoying this, leave a comment! In, in belief this video, leave a comment! And if you haven't hit the like button yet and this is happening, then how can you not hit the like button when you see this? Maybe if you're an Arsenal fan, that would be a bit different, obviously. But we have got eight minutes to go now. Come on, boys. Encourage them. Come on. Come on. we got green faces. Oh, no, they've got a free kick here. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, Hugo. Come on, Hugo. <gasps> oh. oh, Ben White. Oh. Agony. Let's have a look at this. I think, did Hugo get a touch on it? Oh, he, he did. He put it onto the crossbar, but White was quicker than our defenders. Oh, it's 4-3. This is agony. We've had four shots on target and three of them have been goals. Come on, boys. We've got, oh my goodness, we've got to push forward in, that, in this now, don't we? Let's go attacking. I think we, we, we've shifted up in terms of we're a bit more higher tempo already. Um... You know, we 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 all we're already pressing them a lot higher, slightly um, better lines than we had before. Doherty, Mora, Lo Celso, come on, can we get an injury time equaliser here and res rescue this game? Kane, Lo Celso, oh, that was it. That was our chance. It's a corner. We've got two minutes, just over two minutes of injury time left. Here's Sonny with a corner. Oh, Ramsdale held on to it. He held on to it. It's too late now. That'll be it. That is it, boys. Oh, what a game. Absolute classic. What a classic of a London derby. Kane salvages his performance with that goal. 7.2. And he got he got um, an assist as well. Oh, boys, that is unbearable. That is unbearable now. Oh, I'm, I've, I haven't got the three points. The board will be unhappy that I'm still losing games. But, man, what a game. I've got to end it. I've got to end it there. We are finishing in 13th place still. Arsenal, meanwhile, have now jumped off into third. That makes it even worse. But anyway, thank you for joining me today. Shall we have a little look at what the... Uh, the um you know, the games we've got coming up, I think we've got a bit of a tough run ahead. We've got a couple of the sort of the remainder of the Conference League group games coming up. But in terms of the Premier League, you've got Man United, you've got Southampton, you've got Liverpool there, Leeds and Burnley. Um, I'm about to do a couple of streams this week as well on Wednesday and th Friday night where I'll be playing some of these games. So I'll play some of those games and then the next YouTube video from me will be on Monday next week. So make sure you tune in for that. But thank you for joining me today. Man, what do you think is going to happen? I I've got a bad feeling about this. It's more Nuno than Conte, isn't it? See you next time. See you later.